colleagues, friends of the business school, students, everybody watching this video of, of the newsletter, welcome. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's my privilege to sit here on the 10th of March and give a reflection on the activities that already commenced and a view on a few initiatives that we aim for in uh, 2021. Um, may I start to say a welcome to, new, to two new staff members to the business school, uh, Mr. Albert van Seil, a senior lecturer. Now Albert will have his focus on the corruption angle um, in the business school and also our short learning programs um, in, in forensics and commercial investigation, which I believe at this stage is speaking record numbers in terms of enrollments. In fact, a 47% increase in those numbers. Well done, Albert, to you and your team. Keep the momentum going. And then also to Ms. Simone Loebscher. Um, I don't know, Simone, you will probably get a smile when you see this newsletter, but uh, you are responsible for our stakeholder relationships, but most primarily our alumni and our engagement with our alumni which really needs to get momentum in 2021. Talking about alumni, the new database uh, for the business school and its alumni, that process is making good, good steps and the launch will be very, very soon. So watch that space. Still on personnel, Professor Leon Jackson, who received a C2 rating from the National Research Foundation. Prof. Leon, well done. We are all proud of you. Um, it's, it just happens because you guys just do your work and we are really proud of adding another NRF rated scientist to our staff at the business school. Then on our students, um, I also need to mention that the business school um, successfully uh, ass assisted uh, in a PhD of uh, Mr. Jan Tladi. But what is special about that is that Mr. Tladi is a visually impaired student and I will soon also have an interview with him to, extel to, to explain to us his road in his PhD and what motivated him and what was the challenges that he incurred along the way. Colleagues of the business school, you all will know by now the famous bonbons um, that we are uh, embarking on. And uh, yes, on the 10th of March, there's already four bonbons, but we must aim higher. And the momentum, I believe, will come through very soon. The idea is to get about 80 to 100 bonbons from this business school. Why? To show our footprint in Africa, to show our care, care about Africa, and that we can be out there when COVID prohibits physical interaction. I'm also proud in this newsletter to refer to the appointment of what we say is our professors of practice at the business school. A very unique designation where we recognize excellence in practice and that's why we can call the following people professors of practice. Dr. Mala Singh, uh, Alistair McQuenya, Chris Lombard, Brandon Topham and Renee Ace. Congratulations, uh, colleagues. Uh, we look forward to engage with you further in the business school so that our students will also reap the benefits of professors of practice and bring it to the classroom situation. Yeah, I also want to expand on a few other things that you will note in, in this newsletter. Perhaps one of the most exciting ones, maybe, is our newly signed agreement with the IIBN, a business school in St. Petersburg, Russia. And we're going to offer short learning programs uh, in conjunction with them and also have interaction on many other le levels. We look forward to that, to the execution of that agreement and that we can really show that from a BRICS perspective, Apart from all the MOUs we have with some Indian universities that we now can comfortably say Russia is also part of a footprint for us. 
Yeah, and then uh, on a think tank basis, the first think tank was successfully completed on democracy in uh, Africa, opportunities and threats for business enterprises. Uh, we had there Professor Avitis Akbor from the School of Law and Postgraduate Studies and Mr. Pitler, Executive Director of Business League, and some inter good interaction took place in our first think tank of 2021. The advisory board of the business school um, has four vacant positions that needs to be filled. At this stage, it seems that we are in process of at least filling another two of the four. Um, it's a careful process in order to get the right caliber and energy on board for the advisory board. And from my, from my side, a special word of thanks to our chair, Prof. Raymond Parsons, and our deputy chair, Ms. Charlotte McQuenna, for the role they play um, in keeping the advisory board rolling with an interactive input on the activities of the business school. Our relevance in the agricultural and mining sector is also important to the business school. Business school. On the agricultural side, the activities of Thinking Fusion is going on very strong uh, in collaboration with the business school, the Leadership Academy in Agriculture. And in that regard, Dr. Rene Ais is also now a professor of practice at the business school, is gaining very good momentum for us on that side. Insofar as the mining sector is concerned, I'm proud to say that the National Union of Mine Workers is one of our biggest clients in our executive education programs. Yeah, and some of the interesting stats, if we talk numbers, is that it seems that we might have a, a good spike in our MBA enrollments. How the economy and the actual registrations play out is still not very sure to us, but at least it seems that we're going to have the same numbers as last year, i.e. perhaps an improvement and based on current predictions. Yeah, in terms of uh, PhDs, good news again for the business school. 2020 saw 16 PhDs and currently we're in the region of 10 PhDs that has completed this year thus far. Well done to Dr. Lekunzi and Professor Bueta and their team with, with the administration of this um, beautiful uh, initiative with the relevant results. Colleagues, friends of the business school, um, perhaps let me close off to say what are some of the things um, that we might still have in mind. First of all, our footprint in Africa is very important, so the bonbons need to gain momentum. We need to have perhaps physical presence in one or two African countries, um, and obviously we're now pursuing MOUs and cooperation with specific universities in Africa. Um, I believe that the MOU with Lesotho is an advanced stage and should be signed if everything goes well very soon. I hope you have a wonderful day and that you enjoy this first newsletter of 2021.